at y'all, look at y'all, look at y'all, look at y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Woo. All right. This is my rant number three. I um <laughs> I should be doing an unboxing, but it's still a rant number three for y'all, for me, okay? So if y'all have been keeping up on my past blogs on YouTube and Instagram about my headaches and heartaches and pains about the delays of these dolls, um, and I finally got them, but you have to listen to how I got him, okay? <sighs> Let me take a deep breath because this stuff is very stressful. I think it's causing me to have some high blood pressure and I never have any health issues, but this has been a total madness of a fiasco and headache with this order, pre-orders with barbie.com with amazon.com whatsoever so anyway originally this doll was ordered through amazon.com about four months ago and it started that delay of shipments and all that stuff you know so i went on canceled that order with her because i was like oh you know what i'm seeing other people are starting to get her on barbie.com target.com whatever it may be so i went on that route I kept him on Amazon.com until the beginning of June. Wait, he's already on May 28th, the first time, as an anniversary gift for my husband. He ordered it for me. And so the end of June, it was delayed almost twice. And I couldn't take it no more. So if you go back and look at my rant one, rant number two about him, please do and catch up. It's, I'm not going to waste some time on this. But what's going on is... I got this girl. She was almost on time, but there were some delays. I had to call Mattel and get it all fixed and everything was fine. Then she was shipped out maybe about three days later than when she was um, initially supposed to be shipped out. But I ended up getting her the next following week. So she's here. Thank the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. Now I have her. Okay, she's beautiful. I am in love with her. She's pristine. Nothing's wrong with her eyes. Nothing. Okay, I haven't even unboxed her yet. All right, now let's go on over here to. Oh, wait. Just hold on. Hold on, y'all. She's the number two. Okay, just remember that. Barbie's look number two. He is Barbie's look number four. Okay, this little handsome man here. I've been waiting for months. This man was supposed to be my character called Turbo. Turbo was the professional stripper that was supposed to show up to Jelena's baby shower. If you guys want to look back on my YouTube channel for that, put in Jelena's baby shower 2021. And you will see all of the segments of my baby showers. Okay. I had to actually find another replacement stripper for him because yes, it was at Jelena's baby shower. You guys have to go find out why. But it was really funny. It ended up turning out okay. I don't know what it is. I freestyle most of my scripts and, you know, I don't write them. I just do them. And so when I did it, I got so much praise on the shocking stripper that it was. And he was called Prince, but it was P-R-E-N-C instead of P-R-I-N-C-E. But you guys have to go check it out to catch up. Okay. Now, this man right here was supposed to be in Turbo. Turbo was the exotic dancer that was hired through Barvinci Dancers Incorporation or whatever it was. But now he's finally here. Now, let me tell you the story about this man, y'all. Okay. I had went on and canceled my order with Amazon. I went on to order with Barbie.com around the beginning of July, I think it was. Or around July 1st, it's just something like that. I'm still waiting on him. I'm actually still waiting on him to come from Barbie.com. Um, they had extended his original delivery service, which was July, I think July 28th, it was supposed to be here. And they delayed him out to September 24th, y'all. I'm not gonna get him to September 24th. And I'm telling you, it's been a headache. I have been so discouraged about pre-ordering any more dolls i'm just refusing it i just don't want to deal with it anymore because this has been the worst headache i have ever had ordering this doll now there's a problem definitely when you're ordering Amer african-american dolls that are being released it's a first of all a shortage of them they only make like a certain amount and it's come for grabs or 
lucky lotto people that are pulled that are being delivered and all this stuff before your order and they ordered after you or they're getting their orders way before you do months before I, I just don't get it i talked to mattel about it i complained about it i told them that um i'm a customer i order when i want to i order when i expect to have the delivery date as promised i expect it to be there and i talked to them about it and they apologized they're very apologetic about it um, but they said, you know, that the order is still going to go through, but it was delayed. So I have lost confidence in ordering Barbie.com. Um, if I see them in Target, which we never do. Um, if I see them in Walmart, we never do. Uh, not like these kind of dolls. Um, it's very hard to find African American dolls. And when I do find them, I'm lucky to find them. It's like, a, oh, I got to get it because you don't know if they're ever going to have it again. Right? So that's the kind of lifestyle I've been living. I have not been lucky. Um, if you... I have some sweet friends, uh, J Mike 91. So sweet. He was like, Hey, you know what? I found this doll on Walmart. This one. Okay. He ordered it. He got it in three days, y'all three days. Okay. He sent me the link and everything. You know what? When I put that link in, guess what? That doll was under walmart.com, but guess how much it was? It was for $59. I don't know how that happened. And he got it for 1995 on his, he's in Alabama, but he got his doll for $19.95. But when I put the link in here, it came up as $59.99. I was so frustrated. I was done. I was like, I'm so over it. I'm just over it. So let me tell you about the story about how I got this beautiful man here early before my birthday. My birthday is next week. Okay. Um, next two weeks, excuse me. All right. So what's happening is a, a order came in the mail. My husband's like, hey, babe, here, open this. It said Target on it, dot com. And I'm like, what is this? He's like, oh, it's mine. Can you just open it for me? My hands are full, you know. So I went on and opened the gift, of, <laughs> opened the box up, y'all. And so when I opened it, it was this beautiful chocolate man here, y'all. And you guys, my husband was videotaping it, but I was not ready for no videotaping. I had no makeup on. I was looking natural. My area here was all messed up and I was just not ready. He was filming it, but I said, I can't post that. My hair was jacked up. My husband always do this kind of stuff, spontaneous stuff to me. But this doll was in that Target box. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, you ordered this from Target? You found it at Target? He was like, no, babe, I didn't get it at Target. And I'm like, oh shoot. But it, where, where, he said, don't even worry about it. I said, no. Is this from Barbie.com? Did it come early? And he was like, no. And I'm like, what the heck did he do? My husband ended up ordering this doll off of eBay, y'all. And I don't know what, like, kind of... It's emotional for me because I've been really wanting his doll for a long time. And I don't mean to cry about it, but... I'm more happy about it than anything because of the fact that my husband went on eBay and went on and paid a lot of money for this doll just for I can have it just for my birthday. And I wasn't expecting it, you know, and I'm still waiting on the one from Bobby.com that I should be getting on the 24th, hopefully, if it's not delayed shipping again. But I was just shocked that I had this doll because it's emotional for me because a lot of other people got four dolls of the same one they got 10 dolls of the same guy they got five whatever it may be they have multiple orders of these and i understand some of them gift them out some people give away some people do things but i just don't understand how i can just go through such a headache of just getting one doll that i really really wanted and um i'm really happy that my husband got this for me because i didn't I honestly did not want to spend that much money on this doll because I know how much he's worth, $19.95, and he's really worth it. I mean, he's really a nice-looking doll, you guys. And for my husband to go out, and he won't even tell me how much he spent for it. I already know he spent over $40 on this doll. I already know, but it's sad that, you know, that you go through so much and you can't get the things that you really want. And then you have to cancel orders and deal with Mattel.com. And then you got to deal with phone calls after phone calls with Amazon and all this extra stuff. I don't think it's fair as a customer who's so dedicated and who's been waiting for so long to get something that she really, really wants, you know. But I thank my husband very much. And I told him, oh, he shouldn't have. And he was like, what do you mean? I said, well, I don't want you to have to go out and spend that kind of money on this doll, you know, because it's my birthday. But... You know, this is the best birthday gift ever. 
And uh, I just want to say, you guys, you know, you know, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I'm just excited that I have them. And I'm, I'm not hating on everybody else who get free dolls. I'm not hating on people who give people dolls. I'm not hating on anybody like that. But when people really want something and they promise something and it's been delayed and your heart gets broken so many times and you want it for certain things and you don't get it that that stuff really hurts and it, and I just have to say that because I'm a very sweet person you know and I do have some really close friends in the doll community as well but when your husband steps in and does this for you because he sees you hurting and you really want something I think that's totally awesome and so I want to thank my husband Roderick for doing that for me because this is birth, birth, the best birthday gift ever and um, you guys stay tuned for my unboxing I will be doing an unboxing um, I'm trying to think about maybe opening him later because I want to make sure I get the other one first before I unbox him because it's hard to get right so I'm kind of in the back back and forth thing about that it's been about uh, three days now and I haven't opened them yet so my husband was like how come you haven't opened them and I told him because I'm scared if I don't get the other one you know so anyway you guys stay tuned for that uh, make sure you like share and subscribe below hit the notification bell for me to unbox these beautiful beauties here if I do um, and I'll see you guys soon and check you guys out later peace love and happiness